Hello, welcome back to Planner Apocalypse for Vlog Humbug Day 9. It's another late night vlog, it's almost midnight, so um, technically won't go up until tomorrow, but that's fine. I had a game tonight, which turned more into a mental health support group for friends. Um, multiple friends of mine are, are having a hard time right now, including myself, so it was, it was nice. It's always nice to have friends um, that are very supportive and understanding and special, so um, yeah. Today! <laughs> Uh, I thought it would be nice to talk about why do you plan? Because as as we all know, uh, as members of the planner community, there are many ways of planning, there are many different types of planners, and there are many different ways of using your planner, and there can be some, I don't want to say argument, really, but some sometimes the, I've seen some people disagree with the way people, other people use their planners, whether it's like you have too many and I can only use one, or you're using too many stickers, or, you know, why does your bullet journal have to look fancy? It's all a personal preference, um, so... Oh. That was a mouse. I just saw a mouse. Yay, it's mouse season, so that's fun. Um, so I'll start off by saying that there- this is crooked. I'll start off by saying that there's no wrong way to plan except the wrong way for you personally. So we are all unique individuals. We all have very unique needs. And so the way that we plan is going to be different for each of us. So there are many creative planners. They like to use stickers and markers and highlighters and hand lettering and doodles and all sorts of stuff. Then there's the cut and dry, straight minimal, dump it out on paper kind of people. And neither of those things are wrong. Neither of those things are bad. They're just different ways to do things and to support yourself because this is about having, you know, having to manage your own mental load and that's okay. Personally, I, I like creative planning, but um, I also, you know, lean on my, my planner to lessen the mental load because I forget things a lot and having a place to write stuff down is very useful to me when I'm using my planner. And that that's also to say that referencing my previous video from yesterday about how to plan when your mental health sucks, if you are not in your planner every single day or all the time, that that's okay too. I have a lot of blank spreads in my planners. This year I have my Memento Mori Goal Planner and my Hobonichi A6 that I was using as a daily planner. I have not been keeping up with the daily planner. The... sorry I'm playing with my hair now. My bangs are getting too long. <laughs> the five-year journal that I bought, I think did last year, I have not been writing in like at all this year. So it's a mostly empty book and I wish I didn't buy it. But anyway, that's a tangent. So yeah, how do you plan? How... if you... if you need your planner to be a creative outlet, then, you know, creative planning is a thing for you. If you need it to just be functional, you know, maybe going the route of a bullet journal or, you know, pen and paper, printables, that's another thing. There's also memory keeping where you hold on to your planner. I typically don't like rings planners just because it's well, I previously didn't know how to store those pages because I like to hold on to everything, but I found these flat-ended screws that I put through... A, I can actually show you. I'm back. So when I took the Morrigan Intensive with the Irish Pagan School back in 2021, I designed my own workbook pl well, planner thing to go with the worksheets that we were getting, which is quite nice, but it has these long screws through it to keep it bound. I can link whatever they are in the description. I don't remember what they're called offhand, but yeah. I like to do hand lettering and, and stickers, and I also designed this thing to look nice. This is how I take notes. 
So I personally enjoy having decorative elements in my planner, but mostly um, I just need my planner to lessen the mental load and that's all of the stuff that we keep in our brains at any given minute, moment, whatever. I mentioned it I think in my last video very briefly. And when we're stressed out, it's important to just get all that stuff out of paper or digitally if you capture digitally so that it's not clogging up the wheels up here. So yeah, basically your planner is there to support you or your planners because like some, some of us have multiple. I've gone through stages of using multiple, like using all the planners for all the different things. And I have found that I cannot keep up with it because I only have so much attention to give. I already have like neurodiverse issues with my brain, so I also have a child, well, two children, and a dog, and a house to keep track of. So having to schedule out time to be in each of my planners I found was very overwhelming for me. So I just, I didn't want to do that. So I, I know a lot of people can do that and they prefer to car compartmentalize their their tasks, their life and such like that. But um, I found it to be draining after a while. And that's, that's where I went into like planner burnout, basically. If you want a separate video on planner burnout, I, I can talk about that. If you, There's a mouse in here. He's very cute. He's, this big. This is what happens when you're up at like the wee hours of the night I suppose but um yeah so yeah uh engaging the audience now uh, what what is your favorite method of planning and how do you plan and why do you plan? I started planning because I kept forgetting things and um my you know especially bills and my bank account was overdrafted so no more overdraft fees for me Thank you very much. And there's just a lot of stuff to remember. And there's this thing called the extended mind or the extended brain, um, where basically your, your mind or your brain, I think it's your mind. Your mind is not only your brain, like the organ, it is all of these other things that you use to offload thoughts, to work out things so like all of your journals and and your notebooks your planner it's all part of your mind and your, your phone your digital tools your apps so it, it's basically just a just a matter of getting these things working for you to support your brain or your mind and how you need it most i hope that was understandable i am tired so i might have just rambled for 10 minutes uh how'd it be kind of incoherent but um i'm happy to answer any questions if anybody has any how do you plan what do you like to do let me know in the comments below and um have a good night i'm gonna sloppily edit this now so i can upload it bye